right guys, so I was going to share with you some fun things I've bought as we are heading into fall. Most of it is fall related, but not all of it. So I was just going to share with you guys. It's nothing like spectacular, but it's fun anyway. And some of it was a really good deal. So the first thing is I got a huge fall slash winter clothing haul for the kids at Costco. So it was a really good deal. And so this, this is uh, ranging from my youngest daughter, who's almost a year, a three-year-old, and a just turned five-year-old. I only found one thing for my five-year-old. Usually she wears a six, but um, I had bought her something in their little store brand that um, was a six this summer, and it fits her great, but I didn't think there was a lot of room to grow, so I bought her this next size up. However, <laughs> We realized is it is actually um, a little too big, but that's okay. I'm not going to return it because I'd rather it just be a little too big. So I let her pick out these jammies. Same with my son. I got him, the, he's a 3T, but I got him the next size up. So I got these cute pajamas. They each picked them out themselves. Next, I found this outfit, this little set here, and it's little sweatsh pants. And they're not lined, but they're thick this little fleece pullover and then I love <laughs> I love this shirt so much it says Prince Charming and it's that kind of you know baseball sport tee style my husband made fun of it but I thought it was adorable and we're gonna go to Disney World at Christmas time and I was like oh my little Prince Charming next I got these little fleece winter pajamas with the grip on the bottom, which, um, you know, again, I have a almost one year old. She's just beginning to walk. You need the grip or they slip all over the place. So I loved these. These are simple. It seems really hard to me to find pajamas that don't have stuff all over them, like little logos or images. And so when I do find some that don't, I get really excited. So this here, this beautiful kind of winter icy blue, that's all it is. And they're footed and they're really cute. And I think I got these for like six bucks or something. It was great. And then this is a little long sleeve, kind of a jammy jumper outfit, and it is no feet. I actually, like, sometimes I hate these because I have really tall kids. So my, my youngest has always been kind of, um, she was tall when she was born, and then she was actually pretty small, like 30 percentile for weight and height for a while. And then she kind of went to average height and weight. So I don't know what she is now. I don't know if she's still average. She was like... 54 percentile height and 50 percentile weight or 49 percentile weight or something like that the last time we got her weighed but I'm convinced that she is huge because she just had this major growth spurt she seems super tall she feels really heavy so I got her 18 month and usually this style when you have tall kids just just doesn't hold up like they outgrow it height wise way before they outgrow it width but whatever also this one to me looked kind of narrow um, and pajamas are supposed to fit tight, but it did look, it looks, it's, it's way, t it's way, way, way nar more narrow than these. So, <laughs> then I got these little fleece pajamas, and they're foxes, and these are all Carter's brand. So, you don't have to just get them at Costco. If you don't have a Costco, you can just look up the Carter's brand. Uh, this is not, this is a brand called Little Me, which I've never heard of. The fleece ones are Carter's, and so is the Prince Charming shirt. It's a little fox on a pink, looks kind of orangey on here, but it's pink with like an orange fox. And then I got this little Carter set here. This is adorable. And again, I'm buying ahead. My daughter's in a 12 month size now. Um, she actually still wears some of her nine month clothes. She's outgrowing them quickly though. And I put her in a few 18 month things and they're only a little big. So she'll definitely be into this by the time it's cold enough to wear it. So this little long sleeve shirt, which is adorable, these little like jeggings. <laughs> I hate real jeans on toddlers and babies. Um, not the look, I think they look adorable, but um, I find that they're stiff and they inhibit the kids' movements. And so I only buy jeans that are really, really um, soft. They feel like kind of pre-broken in. I won't buy stiff jeans. I, I can't stand when I see a kid in the stiff jeans and you can tell their little legs not bending. So these are great. It also has this little shirt. It's like a little tunic shirt with a little heart detail. 
So those are the clothes. I got all those clothes at Costco for a really good deal. Most of them were from Carter, so you could look them up and find them elsewhere. I've already seen them elsewhere. Next, I have two random buys, and I don't really even know why I'm including them in here to show you guys, but I'm going to anyway. So I found these at Target in the dollar spot uh, for three bucks, which, does anyone hate that the Target dollar spot, they started having like a three dollar section? I'm like, Ugh. It's the dollar spot target, not the three dollar spot. Anyway, every year for Halloween, I get the kids glow stick bracelets, necklaces, etc. Um, to light them up a little bit for safety reasons. Um, because it's too obnoxious for them to have to carry a flashlight. And, you know, I just think it's always a really good idea. So I buy them that every year. Well, when I was going to buy them this year, and you have to buy them early if you buy them at the dollar spot. Usually they sell packs and they have several in there, so you only have to buy one pack and they're usually only a dollar, not the three. So you can get them for your whole kit. But uh, you have to go early because they run out. So while I was looking for those, I found these, these little LED bracelets, and look what they do. Ah! It's vaguely annoying, but safety first. So <laughs> when we're trick-or-treating and it's getting dark, these will be great and they can wear them on their wrist. The next bunch of stuff I got at a place called Tuesday Morning. Um, I don't know how many people know what a Tuesday Morning is. It's basically kind of reminds me of a Home Goods, but even more eclectic. It's just a random bunch of stuff. They get a lot of like hand-me-downs from department stores or boutiques and things like that. So you get them for really good deals, but it's like nice stuff. So um, this is randomly from there. I got one of these glasses. I know this seems like boring to show a glass like this, but the reason I love these little plastic glasses is because they do not sweat. And so I put ice water in these and I try to drink them throughout the day. And I like them more than the jugs. I like them more than my water bottles. I just really like these a lot. I find that I drink the most water when I'm carrying one of these around. And I like that they don't sweat and they don't leave little rings everywhere. So I don't, if I don't have a coaster and I'm standing somewhere, it doesn't matter. Well, anyway, these cups cost anywhere from like, I find them for eight is a good deal. They're usually like 12, which I kind of think is overpriced. So I found this one on sale for $4. So I definitely got it. Next is one of my favorite things. This is for our bedroom. Our bedroom is um, blue and gray and silver. Kind of like you can see the blue, obviously white, you know. We actually painted this room and changed this room completely from what it, the design used to be right before I got pregnant. So we never have done a lot. I'm still, I've never really decorated the room since it used to be decorated, but then we've changed it. So I still have lamps from what it used to look like so they don't match and we don't really have a lot of art and things like that. So I slowly have been trying to pick stuff up. I am in love with it. It is like a grayish silver, kind of, it's more gray. It's gray, not silver, sorry. Um, it looks a little more brown on camera. It's not. It's very gray. And then these little birds, and I love it. And it's, to, I don't have it laid out. I haven't even undone it yet, but it's to go at the end of the bed. This comforter here is a silver comforter that we got at Pottery Barn. But it was, it didn't come with like a set of matching blankets or coverlets or anything to go with it really. So we loved it, but we were like, oh, great, there's not a set to buy. So we've had to kind of fill in our own sets. So, and throws like this usually cost, oh, good Lord, they can cost $60 when I was looking them up to find one. And I got this for $14.99. So that's pretty awesome. And then the next thing I got is Christmassy, so I'm kind of bypassing fall. <laughs> Our kind of pr predominant theme for decorating for Christmas is we like to do this old-fashioned, old-time Christmas decorating. It's what our style is for Christmas. So these were perfect. Look, y'all. Look at this. It's from my kitchen. So it's this oven mitt here. And then I found a matching kitchen towel. And that's all. I wish they'd had more. If they had had like the table runners and the placemats and everything else, I would have bought all of them. $2.99, I mean, you can't complain, like that's amazing. So it is by a company called, I'm gonna look them up too, see if I can find more. There is the brand. And also another thing we found to go in our room, I got this at Hobby Lobby for really cheap, is this picture and it's going to go on that wall so you can tell our lamps still don't match. We need to get new lamps. But um, this is gonna go over on that wall. 
And then, <laughs> this is more like something you get at the grocery store. I was going to include them because I was pretty excited. So these are the kind of air fresheners that I use. Um, I love them because they really fill a room. Um, people, people always think my house smells so good and I always have these plugged in. And so I've got to give these some of the credit. Like every time people come over, they're always like, your house smells so good. Y'all can't smell it through the videos, but that is one of those things that like I like. I like having my house smell fresh and good and blah, blah, blah. I get excited for the fall and, and um, winter scents when they come out. This one's an old standby. It's not really that seasonal, but apple cinnamon is perfect for fall. Here's another fall one, sweet vanilla and pumpkins. Oh my gosh, it smells so good, y'all. And this one, we were like, that seems weird, but it smelled good. And we were like, let's try it. The scent tester on it was not very strong. So what we could smell smelled good, and we were like, let's try it. <laughs> these I got all of these um, on sale for a dollar off, so they weren't as much as they normally are. And then here are the more winter-specific ones. So this one is Evergreen Adventure. I'm going to put these by the Christmas tree. Like, whenever we put the tree up. So these won't be up for a while. We put our tree up right after Thanksgiving, but I thought that would be really fun to put it by the Christmas tree and has help the scent. Christmas tree scent. Last, I found this one, Frosted Vanilla and Cupcake Delight. I mean, come on. So there we go, you guys. There's some random home stuff. A, a bunch of, like, jammies and some outfits for the kids. And then my scent stuff. And I know, like, 50,000 people, as soon as I post this, are going to be like, you should use Scentsy. And I probably should. But in the meantime, I'm going to use these. So, <laughs> And then I also have a bunch of party stuff for my daughter's upcoming first birthday but that'll be another video don't forget to subscribe and don't forget also that our daily vlogs are on another channel i still get asked about that all the time we still do our daily vlogs that we've done for the last three plus years we just moved them over to go team hail instead of kyle and court so go there and check them out y'all and i will talk to everybody later if you have a video up about fall hauls or like your shopping things like that let me know because i really love watching those videos <laughs> all right bye guys